What's up guys? I'm back with a new video and today we have stickers. If anybody follows the hobby uh, pretty close, um, in recent time Panini stickers have become quite valuable. And um, I think it's pretty hard to collect uh, stickers and have them in good condition. And here uh, we have for uh, Rewe, the supermarket chain here, they're like uh, Walmart. They, uh, in our region here in Darmstadt or in Hessen in the area, they made a special book just uh, for Darmstadt 98, local team that plays in the second league currently. And when I heard about this, I was pretty stoked. So you would, what Rewe used to usually do is, they used to have like a Bundesliga set, and per 10 euro, uh, you bought something, you got a pack for free. This one's a little bit different. You actually have to pay for a pack of stickers. And since it's Darmstadt 98 uh, pack of stickers, you get five stickers for 98 cents. Now I don't, I used to collect the Rewe ones for fun because why not? It's for free. But these cost a little, a little bit of money, which is actually okay because then it's more like buying, you're buying it and um, you know, you're hoping for something good. You're actually paying for it, you're not getting it for free. So that's kind of cool. So um, from the, the mag, the, actually the booklet itself, you have uh, pretty much history of Domshed. You have the, the current roster of players. You have the coaching team. You have the different jerseys over the seasons and years. You have the Hall of Fame, which I'm really looking forward to. We got a uh, I Touch Zulu captain for many years in Darmstadt, uh, probably one of the best players that ever played for Darmstadt. And we have more Hall of Fame from um, players that played in the, when they were in the Bundesliga. What else we have? Of course, it's called the uh, Feierabend in Bundesliga Profis because when they were promoted in, I think it was 1980 or 81, the team was practically filled with guys that actually had a full-time job and they played football sort of as a hobby and actually made it to play in the professional leagues, which is pretty awesome. And uh, that's a huge story about Darmstadt of always being a real worker team and, and just surprising people with uh, just heart and, and fighting, which, which is a real important part of uh, Darmstadt. We also have uh, pictures of choreography that uh, the Ultras did. So, um, and landmarks also in Darmstadt. So I'm really stoked at opening this. Uh, I bought, I bought 10 packs and I bought another five packs and I actually got a pack. The lady at the Reva really, I don't know if she hates her job. She was like, here, and she gave me six instead of five. But to keep it short, I'm only going to open about five packs per video. Uh, there are five car stickers per pack and I think every fourth pack has a, like a refractor as a, as a glitza or a, or a, like a, a glitter card. So I'm going to be doing quite a few of these for the time being. And uh, just talking about who's ever in here, what players we got, what kind of stuff. So here we go. Let's get this started with the first pack. So we have uh, sticker number 98 already. This is uh, some kind of team photo. And then we have the current roster with uh, Marvin Malem. He came from Kazuo some years ago. He's currently hurt. We have uh, Enzar Aslan. He came actually from uh, the second team. He's actually a youth player through Damshed, which doesn't happen too often that Damshed actually has their own youth players that really make it. So that's cool. He's actually played in the Bundesliga last year, or second league last year. And he had one assist on the very last game of the year. Then we have, uh, we have I Touch Zulu. This is after the promotion, signing the, the city's book. And we have our first refractor, card number 82. And there's nothing written on the back of the card. Uh, he's a goalkeeper from Darmstadt. I actually saw a, a documentary with him in it. He was uh, the goalkeeper when they were promoted back in the 80s. Now, I don't know how many people are going to be interested in this stuff, but I was uh, pretty happy, you know, to, to live here. I was actually born here. 
and to actually see my team get promoted to the Bundesliga five years ago, it was pretty awesome to watch them play against huge clubs. But the second league is also very good. And this is one of the youth teams. We have some of the grass from the stadium. We have Bjorn Rhein. He's the physio the for physical therapy for the players, I'm guessing, you know. And we have Florian Bauer. He's a rehabilitations trainer. And we have some stickers from the Ultros. That Darmstadt uh, Ultros have a partnership with the young boys from BAM. So there's always support from each of them back and forth when the guys are playing. So I'm going to try to keep these videos around uh, 10 minutes, I think. Of course, what I like about the albums are that, you know, I like collecting entire sets. I don't like collecting certain cards. So I'm looking forward to really collecting all 200 cards. And, oh, this is a very, very famous photo. This was uh, when Zulu, I touch Zulu, scored in the first uh, game against their arch rivals Eintracht Frankfurt, who play in the Bundesliga. And uh, this was uh, shortly before Christmas, I think. He scored the 1-0 in Frankfurt to win the game. So that was a huge deal. And we have another one of what the choreography from the Ultras. And we have the non-refractor version of the refractor card in black and white. Pretty cool. So I'm guessing you can collect every card twice with a refractor. So that's going to be fun to get. We have Thomas Isherwood. He, has been, uh, he hasn't played that much. He was hurt right away. And we have uh, the parade from their promotion to the Bundesliga. So, two more packs. I'm going to have fun. Sorry, but I'm not going to stick them in the album. I thought about if I had enough cards, which I don't know how that's going to work, is to have one album stuck and one album just normal. So, this one has to be... This is their third... No, re, I actually own one of these jerseys. This is... Uh, Regional Liga, which is a uh, fourth league. That's how bad it was for them, and not even that long ago. Ten years ago, even. Then we have uh, a jersey of theirs, probably from the 1920s or so. 1930s. A retro jersey. We have Philip Tietz. Love this guy. He came from uh, Wien Wiesbaden, which is uh, right down the road. And uh, at first I wasn't too sure. If him playing in the third league would transition well to the second league, but uh, so far so good. He's a really great uh, forward. I think he's tied for second or third right now in the league for most goals. He scored six already, and uh, he's a huge part of the team, and I'm really glad he's there. I liked him at Wiesbaden. I, used to, I usually go to the Wiesbaden games as well, so I saw him play beforehand, so really cool to have that. Uh, we have another piece of the stadium, whatever. And we have a fan holding a teddy bear. <laughs> the cool thing is, too, I mean, um, if you're really good, they have a lot of autographs. Well, they tend to have autographs. I don't know how it is right now with Corona. It's probably a little bit harder, but you can probably get a bunch of these stickers autographed by them, which would be ultra sick. So shout out to Haas. Uh, we got my local TTM, like literally going to the players and getting an autograph from them. So we have another one. Oh, it's with Teddy Bear as well. Celebrating the promotion. We got another picture of the stadium. We got, um, I'm guessing, a concession worker. I'm not exactly sure who that is. We got uh, Steve Kroll. He's the second or third keeper. Have not seen him play at all. I'm pretty sure he played in the preseason, but I don't know. And we have a beautiful uh, one of the... Most known landmarks here in Darmstadt, the Fünffingerturm or the Five Finger Tower. It's a pretty nice place. You can get married up there. Really nice spot. There's also a Russian chapel. So that's some nice little Darmstadt history. So that's it for uh, video number one of the official Darmstadt 98 sticker album. I'm looking forward to opening more. I do have some more, but we're going to keep it cool for a while. I'm going to try to make a couple videos instead of just blasting everything at once. So, thanks for watching, and until then, take it easy.